हेलो माय फ्रेंड कैसे हो आप लोग तो आज हम देखने जा रहे हैं कि वॉटेक्स ट्यूब क्या होती है और वो कैसे वर्क करती है तो बेसिकली वॉटेक्स ट्यूब एक डिवाइस है जो सेपरेट करती है फास्ट और स्लो मूविंग मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ एयर ओके तो जो ये जो कंसेप्ट है ये सबसे पहले जेम्स क्लार्क मैक्सवेल ने दिया था कि वी कैन सेपरेट द फास्ट एंड स्लो मूविंग पार्टिकल्स ऑफ एयर एंड लेटर ऑन अ डिवाइस वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाई गॉड्स जे रैंक ठीक है द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दिस डिवाइस इज दैट इट हैज नो मैकेनिकल मूविंग पार्ट एंड इट प्रोड्यूस हॉट एयर एट वन एंड एंड कोल्ड एयर एट द अदर एंड ओके सो नाउ हाउ इट वर्क ओके एक्चुअली क्या एक्चुअली वॉट हैपन्स द रूम टेम्परेचर कंप्रेस्ड एयर इज सप्लाइड टू द वॉट एक्स ट्यूब ओके अपॉन एंट्रिंग द वॉट एक्स ट्यूब द एयर पास इज थ्रू अ नोजल which is actually a stationary generator designed to move the air tangentially okay it is designed to move the air tangentially inside the tube setting the air into a vortex motion okay as soon as the air compressed air enters into this chamber you can call this point 1 as as a stationary generator okay you can call it as a stationary generator okay this stationary generator generate vortex which sets the air into a vortex motion okay now uh, the spinning air stream is subsequently forced by the nozzle to change its direction and travel down the length of the tube in the form of a spinning shell okay now uh, this spinning air stream is forced by the nozzle the nozzle forces this spinning air stream uh, to travel down the length of the nozzle okay so it allows uh, this spinning stream to travel along the length of the uh, uh, tube okay suppose this is a uh, tube so it will allow uh, this uh, spinning shell to move along this length okay now a conical valve there is a conical valve provided at the end it at the end it allows some of the air to escape you can see uh, the shape of this conical tube uh, this is it is in the form of a cone it allows some of the air to pass through this okay this this some air will get passed and it allows uh, uh, some air to escape while diverting the rest back down the tube as a second vortex inside the larger outer vortex okay so uh, it forces the uh, air to flow inside it in a smaller vortex okay so so now we have actually two vortex one rotating outside and one which is rotating inside okay this second vortex then exit the other end of the tube okay then, then it exit at the other end other end of the tube at a very low temperature okay so this is how it uh, works okay now we can see why it happens why actually uh, this uh, this this uh, the air which is present inside get colder and why uh, the air which is at outside it get heated so uh, uh, what is the logic behind it actually what happens when the outer vortex move down to one end of the normal uh, tube and the inner vortex flows in the opposite direction to the other end both rotate in the same direction this is the important thing that they both rotate in the same direction and with the same angular velocity okay they rotate in the same direction and in the same angular velocity however they are moving in the opposite direction okay it is important they are moving in the opposite direction but they are rotating in the same direction and the same angular velocity now what happens the inner vortex the inner vortex is a forced vortex the inner vortex is a forced vortex and you can see the radius of the inner vortex is smaller okay the radius is smaller radius is smaller and in case of forced vortex the velocity is directly proportional to radius okay v is equal to omega r okay now in case of free vortex v is in case of Uh, free vortex this relationship won't hold in case of force vortex this relationship follows so um, the uh, as the uh, velo as the radius gets smaller the velocity also gets smaller okay and velocity is related to since the uh, inner vortex has a smaller radius and the flow in inner vortex is force so that velocity is proportional to radius okay this is because of the force vortex flow and the velocity get reduced 
so radius get reduced so we can have the less velocity now the velocity is proportional to kinetic energy and as the velocity gets reduced the kinetic energy also get reduced okay now this reduction in kinetic energy results in the cooling of inner air and where and where this lost kinetic energy goes it goes to the outer tube it goes to the outer vortex so that is why the kinetic energy which is lost from this vortex goes to the outside vortex which results in higher temperature of this vortex and lower temperature of this vortex okay so you can see from this relation also t minus uh, v dot omega cross r cp so this relation i have taken from uh, wikipedia okay so you can see that t is the stagnation temperature of the rotating gas at radial position r and the absolute velocity is observed from the stationary frame of reference is denoted by v vector angular velocity is omega and cp is the specific heat okay so you can see from here also that temperature is proportional to radius and as the radius gets down the temperature also moves down okay so uh, this um, vortex tube effect is explained with the help of a work equation of euler so okay okay so, so this all um, uh, theory part you can write so the concept behind uh, behind uh, the cooling of the inside of the inside vortex is because of the loss in kinetic energy okay so the final uh, words is that uh, the inner vortex is cool because of kinetic energy lost okay so uh, this is uh, this is a um, this this is a picture uh, which you can see like uh, flow enters from here and it starts spinning in this direction and uh, this uh, this from this you get hot air and from this direction you get cold air okay so if you like this video you can um, uh, you can click the like button and uh, if you want to see further uh, these kind of videos you can subscribe my channel uh, thank you let me check whether this video will be play or not okay so uh, okay it is playing so you can uh, see this video also like how uh, this thing is happening okay so uh, this is a stationary generator which uh, there is a stationary generator which create a vortex approximately one uh, it is uh, it is around uh, very high rpm you can see and the outer vortex is gained kinetic energy uh, and the inner vortex is okay so uh, now it is playing so you can uh, see it uh, also uh, so this video i have taken uh, from an external source okay it is not made by me so just to explain you that um, the different uh, things which are present into it okay uh, so uh, it is very clear from this video the compressed air enters from this portion i have already told you compressed air enters from this portion and there is a stationary generator which generate uh, the vortex and uh, this is uh, the outer vortex and in this inside it it is a inner vortex okay and this um, from here you get uh, hot air and from here you get super cold air okay so hope you like it okay thank you